So over the last year, Input has produced this consensus statement. The title is Drug Use Under Prohibition, Human Rights, Health and the Law. And it gives a snapshot into the impact that prohibition has on the lives of people who use drugs in terms of our human rights and in terms of our health. And it shows how the law is twisted by the war on drugs or the war on people who use drugs. The, consult the document is entirely driven by the words of people who use drugs from different regions and it captures the way in which our rights are so clearly trampled upon and it then goes on to list what demands we have in order to realise our rights properly. People who use drugs are entitled to their human rights, which must be protected by the rule of law. People who use drugs have the right to non-discrimination. People who use drugs have the right to life and security of person. People who use drugs have the right not to be subjected to torture or cruel, inhuman, degrading treatment. People who use drugs have the right to the highest attainable standard of health. People who use drugs have the right not to be subjected to arbitrary arrest or detention. People who use drugs, they have the right to bodily integrity. People who use drugs have the right to found a family entitled to protection by the law, entitled to privacy, and entitled to be free from arbitrary interference. People who use drugs have the right to assemble, to associate, and to form organizations. People who use drugs and drug use must be decriminalized. Decriminalization alone is not enough. People who use drugs must have access to legal justice and police protection. Members of the law enforcement, and especially the police, must be sensitized to the needs of people who use drugs. People who use drugs must not be assumed to be sick, deviant or criminal. Drug user phobia and uh, drug, drug user shaming it should be recognized as stigma and discrimination and hate speech. Violence perpetrated against people who use drugs in civil society and at the hands of authorities, the police and healthcare providers must be investigated and prosecuted. Executions and extrajudicial killings of people who use drugs and for drug related offences must end. People who use drugs must have access to the highest attainable standard of healthcare service provision and harm reduction. Harm reduction services must be available accessibly, freely and comprehensively and must take into account people's nuanced and variable realities. Service and healthcare providers as well as the police and staff of closed settings must be sensitized to the specific needs of people who use drugs. Comprehensive health care and uh, arm reduction services must be available in all contexts, including closed settings such as prisons and pretrial detentions. People who use drugs must be involved in the conception, implementation, monitoring and evaluation of service provision. Whenever possible, service provision must be peer-led. Barriers to health must be undermined and dismantled. Not only people who use drugs must be decriminalized, but also drugs must be produced in a regulated context. People who use drugs must not be treated differently from their co-workers on the basis of their drug use. They have the same right to employment as all others. People who use drugs are entitled to stable, non-hostile workplace environment. People who use drugs must be able to work without threat of arbitrary discrimination, termination and harassment. People who use drugs must not be subject to arbitrary detention or arrest arbitrary stop and search, compulsory treatment or forced labour. People who use drugs must not have their bodily integrity violated by drug testing or through being pressured or coerced to terminate their pregnancy or to be sterilised. People who use drugs must be respected as experts in their own lives and experiences. Participation of people who use drugs in debate uh, and policy formation must be meaningful not tokenistic. The well-being and health of people who use drugs and their communities must be considered first and foremost in the formation of laws and policies related to drug use. Networks of people who use drugs must be allowed to be leg legally registered so that we are identified as a, a registered legal entity with political legitimacy. I believe people who use drugs 
must able to organize and network without fear of discrimination and arbitrary of interfering and violence from the government. So we designed this consensus statement to be a practical tool. It's very clear on what our demands are in order to see our rights realised. From our perspective, our rights can't be fully realised and respected until prohibition is ended, until the war on people who use drugs is ended. But in the meantime, this gives you a list of our demands. People can use, our community should use it and can and I hope will use it at national, regional and of course global level. We commend it to you, it comes from the community of people who use drugs to be used by the community of people who use drugs. Read the document, use it, advocate with it.